Hi unicorns, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anjali. If you're new here, welcome. And I highly suggest that you subscribe down below to become a part of the unicorn fam because you're already watching me. So why not subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you can get notified every single time that I post. In today's video, I created this green smoky eye and I really, really like how it came out. I absolutely love the color green. I don't know if you guys do, but if you do, comment down below a green heart that I will post right here. Green hearty emoji but that is my favorite color and I'm really happy with how this look turned out so I hope you guys can learn something from this video if you're interested then just keep watching hi guys I'm gonna be doing a little tutorial today I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing but I'm feeling green a lot so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place and I want to go ahead and use Madagascar I'm just bringing this into the crease and just tapping it around because I usually set my eyes with a uh, concealer so I use my Tarte Shape Tape in order to do that so now that I have that on, I kind of want to bring it up a little bit more just because I want the color to really show up. So I don't want this to necessarily be a um, halo type of look, but I do want it to wing out. That's why I'm kind of dragging it up a bit. I just like to set it first to see where I'm going with the look and then I'll go ahead and do the rest. Now that I have this color on, I'm going to go in with the color Kenya which is this one right here. And I just brought that out into the outer corner and I'm using a really fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M503. So the next color I'm going in with is called Egypt, which is this one right here. And I'm just applying it pretty much in the center and then I'm gonna start dragging it everywhere. I pretty much dragged it all the way down to my crease if you would say. I just want this color to really show up everywhere. Now that this is on, I'm just going to work on blending my eyes a bit. Um, that way everything kind of looks together and not just like a pluff of color. Pluff, is that even a word? Like I just made that up. But anyways, I'll be right back. So the next step that I did, I completely forgot to turn on the camera for this, but I used Kenya again. And this is the same color we used earlier, and I just did a quick tight line with it. Um, I just like how natural it looks. <laughs> Me talking with like a bunch of colors on my face. But I don't like, I didn't really want a wing, so I applied this to kind of fake it out and be able to put on my lashes without it looking weird. Um, so that's what I did for that part. I'm going to use my Roller Lash Mascara now. And I'm going to zoom in for this part so you guys can see my eyes. Hello. This is actually a cool zoom in. I just don't like that you can see all of my acne. So that's kind of like why I stay far away. But once my acne clears up, I might do videos like this because you know it's cool and it's better to see. Alrighty guys, I am back on here and I'm going to apply some Ula Henriksen Sea Rush to my face. And the edges look really gross right now, but I'm going to blend them out like when I put my foundation and all of that. Now I'm using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Finish Foundation and this is a dewy version. I actually grabbed the color Golden Beige. I'm going to put this in the back of my hand because obviously I don't want to infect the foundation with anything. So I'm just going to apply some back here. My hands are clean and apply that onto my face. I did a full review on this foundation. If you guys haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend that you do. And then I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And then blending this out with my Wet n Wild Beauty Sponge. I swear my eyes look crazy right now, but I'm going to blend everything out. I want to use my Dandelion brush by Benefit. The box looks something like this, and then it's like a light pinkish tone. 
Now going in with my Laura Mercier powder. Now I'm using my Benefit Hoola bronzer and my Benefit Hoola brush. I actually like this brush so much I can't let it go. I just switched it up. And now I'm going to contour my nose very quickly. I usually started from the top but now I started from like the middle. Worked my way down and then with whatever I had left I used it up. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I found that it made everything look nicer and kind of guided you in a better route, I would say. I pretty much put bronzer all around the tip of my nose. Um, just because I'm, I feel like it makes your nose look a little bit smaller and it makes it more like elevated. I kind of like to bring this into the eye, but just right where the brow starts. That way it makes it look like it's your actual structure and not just like you're painting it on your face. So you kind of just want to work your way in and blend that all together. And then you just want to go in with whatever you have left of the powder and kind of blend that in. I'm going to go in with this color right here called Zuri and I'm using that for my inner corner. I also want to add a little bit of this color right here. It's like a yellowish tone. So I wanted it to be like not too strong, the inner corner, but still like a noticeable effect. And because we went in with like a gold shade, I actually want to go in with an oldie. This is a Fenty Beauty Trophy White. I rarely use this because the color is just so strong. But if you apply it correctly, it looks very beautiful. Especially if you have a yellow complexion like myself, I feel like this bl this blush, this highlighter looks really, really cool. I like to apply a lot and then kind of just blend it out with a beauty blender. And then grab the brush and pinch it. And then just do a straight line down your nose and right at the tip of your nose as well. So I applied some above the brow because it makes your face glow like I don't know if you guys can see that but it looks like you're glowing I wish I could put some in the middle but every time I do that I look very weird and then going in with my beauty blender and kind of like blending all the powders together this side is clean so there's nothing on it I'm using the clean side just kind of pressing in everything now I'm going to use one of my favorite lip combos because I just love it I'm going to go in with the Shayla Times Colourpop collection and this is just a brown burgundy color and then i'm gonna go in with the hades villain lipstick i kind of just apply that to the center but i'm gonna bring it all the way around to kind of even it out and not make it look very like tonga ish if you know what that means that way it looks a lot more even if you ask me and then i'm gonna go ahead and finish my eyes off camera and i'll be right back all right you guys so this is the finished look and i really really like how it turned out i don't know about you guys but if you do comment down below and let me know because i really like it i think it's wearable but um only if you like tone it down a bit I would wear it out but I know so many people who don't wear makeup like this so I know that when you guys look at these videos you're like mm, how do I wear that out like I would never wear that out but if you tone the colors down don't add so much like darkness into the eyes and just add like the browns and the greens and I think it's a perfect look for everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video enough to subscribe down below and hit the bell notification button to get notified every time that I post and give this video a thumbs up and welcome to the unicorn fam if you already subscribed and i know you guys want to watch more videos so go ahead and click this video that i will see you in next time right here mm -hmm.